It's been called an attempted assassination, an explosion followed by gunfire on Prime Minister Mustafa al khadami's residence in the most secure part of Iraq, the heavily fortified green zone of Baghdad. According to the Prime Minister's office, drones carrying explosives were used in the attack. Khadami was unharmed and spoke to the nation shortly after. To all of those who were worried, my residence was targeted in a cowardly attack. Thanks to God and His grace, all of those working with me and I are doing well. International condemnation the attack was swift. The US issued a statement of relief that the PM was unhurt and called it an apparent act of terrorism. Rhonda Slim is from the Middle East Institute. She says Kadmi has long had issues with paramilitary groups backed by Iran. They have lots of resources and they have manpower, they have weaponry, they have lots of financial resources. Resources, After all, you know, uh, billions of dollars are allocated every year in the Iraqi uh, budget for the Hashd al-Shaabi, which is the umbrella for a lot of these militias, in addition to whatever they get uh, from Iran. The Iranian-backed militia groups have been protesting since the October 10th election, which they say was subject to fraud and corruption. The Fatah alliance lost a significant amount of seats. The Supreme Court has rejected most of their allegations of fraud. So far, no group has claimed responsibility for the attack. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera.